it's been a minute since I've done YouTube, but you guys have been asking me to do some type of YouTube videos, so I decided to do the top 35 pairs of my collection. And uh, here we go. I'm gonna start off in America order. Um, the first Jordan is Jordan 1, Red 1s, 2016. Crazy, crazy quality in the leather. Um, Jim Red 1s, suede toe box, really dope shoe. Classics, had to get like three, three pairs of these, two on ice. One that I wear like every other day, Fragment 1s. Um, probably not something you see every day. 2001 Royal Ones. What the Jordan Ones? At first, this was crazy hype shoe. Really dope though. You got the bread one, the black toe, the royal. Then you got patent leather gold Jordan Ones. Bought these at Sneak Con New York, I think, when they were like really, really hype. Paid like 1300 Obviously, the Jordan 5 Supreme, Nike collaboration, camo. You already know about that. Then we got the Jordan 2 quilted just dawn. Blue and cream. Both, you know, classic, new colorway. Both fire, you can wear them out. Got the Jordan 7, John Moreau. Probably one of my favorite shoes. Second sneaker that got me into the sneaker game. Crazy quality, like suede, new book. Crazy colorway. Of course, gotta hit the Valentino. A lot of you guys probably don't know about this, but it's more on the designer side. Probably my favorite Valentino I have. Um, from there, of course, you know, 350s classics. I like them way more than the V2s. Pirate Blacks, obviously. Then you got the Moon Rocks, 350s. Barely wear those, they're super clean. Oxford Tan, 350s. Kind of beat these up like every day. Turtles, these are cooked. These are more like pirate blocks at this point. This is after they got cleaned. Um, not on no hype piece, you know, but like 350s are definitely, definitely up there for me because it's like an everyday wear, just something like to rock whenever I want, you know. Gum 750s, crazy, glow and everything. Fire, barely wear them though because. I'm not really a high tops person. Um, same goes for the. Actually, no, a lot of beat these up. Like the drag is real on this one. OG Gray 750 colorway. These are pretty clean for how old they are. First easy, obviously. Most money. I love this shoe. Really dope, unlike all the other oversaturated Yeezys right now that are on the market. The V2 Solar Red kind of reminds me of the Yeezy 2 Solar, which is probably one of my favorite shoes of all time. I actually just sold it though. Had like a really, really high off on it. Um, obviously, V2 Orange. Dope shoe, dope colorway. And the copper. I don't really like the lime ones that much. I have them obviously, but not really a fan, but these are dope. Pharrell, shout out to Pharrell. Black Human Races. Clean shoe, wear all the time. Matches with basically anything, especially if you put the black laces on. Super high beast shoe. Started out as a rumor, but it's here and it's really dope. I can't believe I spent that much money on a pair of NMDs to be honest. Especially since do you see how much stuff they get and I don't even know how to fix that, but whatever. 
think I got these when they first dropped, like a couple days before. Bought five pairs, paid like a thousand or eleven hundred each, some crazy number. But whatever, it's worth it. Probably my top five in my collection. Yellow Human Races. Paid three something when they first came out. I bought six pairs, sold all of them for like six hundred. Not knowing, like not thinking, damn, like these are about to be crazy hype. Now I see them for like fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred. Buying every every size in the yellow one. If any of you guys have it, dead stock. Let me know. Um, now the rest is more like designer stuff. It's like not like Yeezys or Jordans. Actually, there's some Yeezys, but not Jordans. Mason Margellas. Shout out to Zach, Cokeboy Zach. Got these off of him. It's a gift, actually. Thank you. Crazy, like got the suede two tone. Then got these Margellas, kind of mess them up, but like, I wear them all the time when I go out, like, it's like a club shoe, kind of. Red bottoms. Christian Louboutins, this is my first pair of Louboutins I ever got. Um, Red Spike. Got these out when I was in LA. Dropped a huge bag on them, but it's worth it. Flats. Easy to personally, um, Easy to is my favorite Nike Kanye West model. Um, obviously, there's only these in the ones, but these are really dope. These are red October's, obviously. Probably one of the most hyped sneakers in the game up to date. Um, when these drop, I remember everyone crazy for them. Probably ran through like four or five personal pairs by now. But they're getting so difficult to find. I was like, I'm gonna just keep this one. Not for sale. Classic. Camo, Duck, Air Max. Actually, was literally just in Atlanta the other day. Just got takeoff. You already know. So, I had to get another pair of these on ice. Had to match my brother. Basically, this is my favorite Kanye West collaboration in general, with Louis Vuittons. So I'm gonna start off with the Anthracites. It's my first Louis Vuitton collab shoe I got with Kanye. Anthracite Dons is something you just wear out wherever you want, you know, with your parents, to a club, out to an event. Then you got the Hudsons, obviously white Hudsons. It's like the LV5. Tiny on me now, but got these a while back. Really dope shoe. Um, honestly, these two are probably my favorite LV collabs. Funny they're both Patrick's, but Patrick Jaspers, Patrick Dons. If you just literally take a look at the back, like crazy, crazy quality. By far, by far, my favorite collab. Get done. So, shout out Instagram, shout out YouTube, more videos on the way. Peace out.